guys are here already. How are you? I'm Casey, and yeah, you're in Casey's kitchen. I hope you're hungry because I am, and I'm going to make a really great dish for you today. It's Portuguese paella. So let's get started. Okay, so our ingredients are, we have uh, just regular short grain rice, canned tomatoes diced up, diced tomatoes, you can get it right in the can, onion, a little bit of saison seasoning, and a few saffron threads. That's the fancy stuff, I guess. Garlic, and what gives it the Portuguese kick is linguiça. And I got these cool links because they're so much more fun than regular, they're just like sausage style. So I got those. And then you can also throw in some frozen shrimp or if you want to splurge a little bit, which these are really inexpensive actually, but you can put some little necks and bay scallops in as well. And it was really cheap actually, so it's not, it's not too breaking the bank. Okay, so first we are going to put a little olive oil in our pan, in a small pan, because this is going to be what we cook all the seafood and meat in. So just do a little drizzle, get that heat on. Alrighty. Now we're going to cut these cool little links, because <laughs> they're just funny, and get my knife. I don't know if you noticed, but um, I have a favorite color. It's yellow. No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's tail. <laughs> and, okay, so we're going to just cut them right off at the knot. And then we're going to put them right into the hot olive oil. Doo -doo -doo. Come on. Wow. There are a lot of these. <laughs> okay. No kidding. They're starting to move. <laughs> All right, so now we have them going. Hear them sizzle. And try not to get burnt with the sparkling, sparking oil. All right. Now, the good thing about linguiça is that it's already cooked, so really what we're doing is we're just making sure that it's heated up and um, that it kind of gets a little, a little crusty golden from the oil and from frying up. So you can just keep moving them around. Now that I think about it, I'm so glad I got these little ones because they look so much cooler. <laughs> okay, yep, I'm excited about linguiça. That's what happens, whatever. All right. So we're just going to let them hang out for a little bit. You can see them, they start to move. They're like jumping beans. Okay, so now that they're cooked, we're going to put them right back in their bowl. And I lost one. One escaped. He's fine. Okay, so now right in the same pan, we're just going to set off our cooked uh, linguiça for later. In the same pan, just another little swirl of olive oil. And we're going to throw in our scallops. Okay, now I didn't get killed by the splatter of the scallops, so we made it. but. The most important thing is to put your scallops in first because if you get the frozen shrimp, get the pre-cooked one so you don't have to worry about it as much. So you can grab the shrimp and you can wait till the scallops get cooking a little bit and then that's when you can put in the shrimp after. Now I'm just going to add a little black pepper and a little salt. Now, I've worked in a lot of restaurants, waitressing, and I used to have people tell me that the fish was really salty, and one man said that he expected it to be salty because it was a saltwater fish. Um, that doesn't happen, so you should season your fish, just, just to let you know, your seafood. But, hey, to each their own. So I'm going to just let these cook up a little bit, and while I do that, set the shrimp off, because they're gonna go up next. 
While I do that, let's chop up our onion. Two, one. So now you can just coarsely chop it. Chop while you're doing it. And let's see, it's going to be chopped and hope that I don't chop my fingers off. And then you can run the knife through it again just to make sure you get everything. And then this is going to go in the big paella pan. Say that ten times fast, I guess that could get a little, little confusing. So, again with the olive oil, why not? I mean, this is pretty much the best thing to come into the kitchen. Other than, like I said, like pasta. So we're going to crank a heat on that. All right, we're going to check out our scallops. Now you can see a lot of liquid is coming out because they're, these were previously frozen. They're a lot cheaper that way, so hey, I'm all about saving a buck. So um, I'm just going to head over to the sink and just strain the scallops and get some of that liquid out of there. Okay, and then just bring them back onto that heat. So now we have our onion chopped. We can set that off to the side. And let's get our garlic chopped as well. Ah, I lost my clove. There we go, there's more. So we'll start with two cloves. Put it on the knife, give it a whack. Did it work? Did it work? Oh, lovely. My friend who's taping this is impressed that that just worked, I think, without me slicing my hand open, so. All right. Cut those bulbs off the bottom. and just thinly slice it. Okay, so now we're gonna put these shrimp in and you can be nice and take the tails off, but you know what? I'm cooking, I think it's enough if the person eating can go ahead and sacrifice taking the tails off on their own. So those go right in and just flipped around in there. Give it a few more cracks of the pepper. And now I can feel a good heat coming from our big pan, so we're going to add our onions and garlic right on over. Hear the great sizzle. And the last bit right here, okay. So now we can just start mixing these up. Oh, it smells so good. I think onion and garlic is one of the best smells, if I didn't attack myself, um, the best smells that there are. Oh, in the kitchen, it smells so good. Okay. So we're going to let those cook up a little bit. Put those on a lower heat because you don't want the garlic to burn because once you burn garlic, you can't come back from it. So we'll uh, give these guys another toss or two. And you just cook them up until, well, until they look like they're cooked. And scallops, you know, you get that, um, they're not translucent anymore. And the shrimp will curl up. But like I said, these shrimp were already cooked.